Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching us how to sew uh, a yoke inside your outfit. It can, it may be your blouse or a gown. So, I have the back bodies here. This is the back bodies. I already inserted the darts. This is the back. Okay. So this is the back bodies and this is the front bodies okay this is the front bodies this is what the front bodies look like and these are the yoke i'm using right here is the front yoke can you see how it looks why two of these is the back yoke okay this yoke has zipper allowance there are some yoke that doesn't have zipper allowance okay that you just have to create like a kind of v v shape or a kind of uh keyhole at the back okay it depends on what you want but the yoke i'm doing is going to have zipper allowance on the on the list here so now i also have my lining here as well this is the back lining this is the lining for the for the back bodies this is the lining for the back bodies and this is the lining for the for the front bodies okay so as a beginner you can to make it easy for you just notch the center of the yoke you already know the center of the front since it's a sweet that neck so you know the center but if the neck is just a straight neck you need to notch the center so and then when you are done notching you place the notch part on each other so as a beginner if you feel you don't if you use pain you may not get it right all you just need to do is once the notch part is matching just go to your sewing machine sew the yoke sew it down so sew it down from the center here to the end then you come back sew from the center again to the other end so that you'll be sure that everything is in place so once you are done you now pick up your lining you pick up your lining like so so ensuring that the yoke is in between the fabric and the lining okay your yoke should be in between the fabric and the lining so but if you are not a beginner if you can do it with pin all you just need to do is match the uh, notch parts together and use your pin to pin it down pin it down here and also pin it down up to this place and then you pick up your lining place your lining on it and also join so when i'm joining i prefer i like joining from the center to the end and then come back from the center again to the end to the end so that's it for the front i'll start you also bring the back bodies as well you do the same thing the same thing i explained if you can work with your pin just place it on the back like this okay and use your pin to pin it down or you take it to your sewing machine stitch it down first and then once you are done stitching it down uh, the yoke on the fabric then you bring your lining like so and place your lining on it can you see so the yoke is in between the fabric and the if in between the fabric and the lining okay so i'll go to the sewing machine now so up to, if you are using a yoke that will not have zipper allowance all you need to do is mark out the zipper allowance you have there and then from the zipper allowance you just place the yoke after the zipper allowance that is if your yoke does not have zipper allowance all you need to do is mark out the zipper allowance mark it aside and from there you place your yoke and go ahead and sew but because the yoke i'm using as zipper allowance so i'm going to place it from the zipper allowance of the fabric and then sew it all through so i'm going to show us the process of sewing and after you might have joined the lining and the fabric and the yoke together make sure you top stitch your lining you top stitch the allowance on the lining okay so that it can fall properly the reason why i left a little like quarter of an inch before joining the 
before placing the yoke here is because i'm going to turn this place with the lining so that was why i left quarter of an inch here for turning with the lining okay so it doesn't affect the yoke so by the time i take in the quarter the quarter of an inch it will look like this okay so the next thing now is to turn with the lining i'll also show you the front so i notched the center of the yoke so you place it on the fabric so which the right side of the yoke is facing the right side of the fabric don't make that mistake except you are using a net which both front and which both the right side and the wrong side is the same thing so which there is no wrong side there is no right side so this is it i place the notch part of the center of the yoke on the center of the fabric so i place it on it like so and then i'll just go ahead and and stitch so by the time you put down the needle you just have to pull the clothes like what i just did now and then continue sewing can you see because it's a curved part so you need to do it like that so that was why i said if you use pin you it may shift when you are sewing it especially when you are sewing a curved neckline so my that area make sure your that the that you you took in here is open you open you have to open it up like like this and so for the other side i you know i said from one side from the center to the to the last place and you come to the center again then you come to the center again so from the center again then you go ahead from the center again. So can you see? Can you see what it looks like? So I'm going to bring out the lining now and also turn the lining. Okay, at the center. You are placing the lining at the center. So look for. So you turn it and also do the same. You do the same for the other side too. Make sure you notch, notch it. And once you are done notching, so once you are done notching, you top stitch the um, allowance on the lining. You can see how I'm doing it top stitch on the lining then you also sew the lining the back lining as well and then you notch it the way I'm doing it right now then you go ahead and top stitch as well so you can see how it looks it's laying properly you can see how it, it's laying can see the front as well make sure it's as neat as this okay you can see it and also this is the front you can see how the front is so around that sweetheart neck make sure you notch it you can see the way it looks so for the neck, you can just use your bias tape to turn the net or, or the lace. I use the lace fabric to turn the neck. So you can see how it looks. Looking so beautiful. So I use the same lace to turn the neck. So this is the back. Make sure the back aligns, the two pieces aligns together. can see it you can see the way it aligns so make sure it's, it's neat and looks 
beautiful so this is the inside you can see how the inside is looking so guys thanks for watching this video and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video